This is Ancel Power Probe Circuit Tester, multifunctional tool to solve any of the electrical issues you might have on your vehicle. Now first Ancel did send me this for free to make a video, so thanks for sponsoring. And then secondly, most of the videos you find with this tool are done by professionals, which I am not. I am just learning this electrical stuff. I started with OBD2 scanners and now I am trying to learn everything about how to do electrical troubleshooting. So I thought I will do a review of this. It's kind of newbie in electrical testing I will show you what I picked up what can I do with this and if you are completely new to this as well you will get an idea how you can use it even if you never did any electrical testing this power probe doesn't have any battery what you do you have these clips and you simply connect them to your car battery so let's put negative to the ground positive on the positive side and once I touch the terminal you can see it powers up automatically now here if you press menu you can choose between different modes most of the time we will be using dc voltage but you have some others you have ac voltage however most components in the vehicle are operated in dc voltage then we have frequency duty fuel injection test resistance and diode now let's start with the basics. Here you have two LED lights. Red is for power and green is for ground. If I put this tip on positive terminal, we should see 12 volts and red light. See we have 12.3 and red light is indicating that I am currently on the positive side of the circuit. If I touch the ground, we can see 0 volts and the green light is indicating ground. Now you have ground basically on every metal part in your engine and also your chassis. So if I take my probe and touch for example this heat shield, you can see I still have ground. Then for example if I touch this fuse box, this is positive terminal. Fuse box is always very close to positive terminal of your battery and that is to prevent any short circuit. Basically for those who don't know that means if you have circuit and some wiring will touch any metal as ground, it will create short circuit and possibly the wire will burn down. Now to prevent this we have fuses that protect circuit. If anything happens to the circuit, the fuse will blow and that means there will be no more power in the circuit, protecting your more expensive components. Now since I already started talking about fuses, I will show you how you can test your fuses outside of the vehicle. So if you pull the fuse, not sure if fuse is the problem you're having, you can pull the fuse out and you can test if it works. I don't know if you can see it but this fuse is blown so it doesn't work and here I have good fuse. Now to test the fuse we will need to complete circuit because this is out of the vehicle so I cannot use only the tip of the power probe but I also have to connect this ground cable. Connect ground to one side and then if the fuse is okay we should hear some beeping. See it beeps so it does have continuity and I know the fuse is good. Now watch what happens if I try with the broken fuse. This is the blown fuse and we can see and there is nothing. No beeping and no LED light. The same way I just tested my fuses you can test any other components for example this light bulb. So this can be very helpful if you don't know if the component works, simply take it out of the car and you can try testing it. So let me put this alligator ground clip on one side. Now we can hear continuity, but we also can actually test if this light bulb works using this button. This is the button. Now remember I have connected ground and positive leads from power probe to my car battery. If I press the button up, I am applying power. If I press button down, I am applying the ground. So the ground already I have connected. All I have to do is apply power. So now if I press the button, the bulb will light. Here I have another example. This is beeper for the car seat belts. I have some videos where I disable the seat belts warning with OBD2 scanner, but sometimes that isn't an option and you have to manually take out this beeper. It does work, so when I send power with the button, it should start beeping. Or maybe it doesn't work anymore. Let me try putting my ground on another switch. Oh yeah. See, the probe is beeping, but also this continuous beep is coming from this beeper. 
case of dead the components outside of the vehicle but you can also test components that are inside the car you don't have to remove them for example let's try this engine cooling fan now i hope you can see it there are two cables i already unplug the connector of my engine fan and i plug two leads one to the ground and second to the power now if i want to test my engine cooling fan i will hook up the ground lead to the cable that i have connected to the ground terminal of engine cooling fan now I will apply power. And you can hear that engine is spinning. Okay, now let me do it one more time so you can see. So apply the power. Now with the help of this power probe, this basically can act same like bidirectional OBD scanner and you can test various components inside your car. Check it out. For example, this light. I will put my tip to positive terminal. Now I also want to show you that you don't have to worry about damaging something because this power probe is basically dump proof. So that means if I try to apply power to the ground, making short circuit, the tool will shut itself off and then resets so nothing will happen so this this is very handy for beginners like us if we do something wrong we don't damage any expensive components but now let's put it on the right terminal power terminal apply power and you can see we successfully tested our light now we can see that the light is working, but what if we also want to test the wiring that is coming to the light? Then we can go inside to our interior fuse box and check it out. I already know which fuse is for lights. It's this one. So now when I apply power, I can turn on my lights confirming that also my fuse and wiring for the lights is okay. Now often when you got some issues with sensors in your vehicle, you can test them by performing a resistance test. So let me select resistance, which is measured in ohms. By the way, if you find any of this confusing, I have like beginner's guide to automotive electrical testing and I will link it up here. Here I have parking sensor, so I will connect my ground lead. I touch the second terminal. And now I have this resistance reading. What we have to do with this is find out the exact spec online and compare it to a reading. If it's in the same spec, then you know that components should be okay. Now when I go back to my DC voltage, you can test your fuses very easily. If it beeps, you know it got continuity, so circuit is okay. Then if you see ground on both terminals, you know there is no power coming inside this fuse. So this circuit is not activated, but it is working fine. But there are some circuits that can be activated even without the key. For example, this one, as you can see, I got power reading of 12 volts. So this is the Ansel power probe. As DIY mechanic, this is extremely handy because not can I just do some tests, but with this tool, I also did learn a lot about basics of electrical testing and how actually the electrical systems in your car works. So definitely recommend it. If you want to get it, I will put the link in the description.